Hi, George. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm great. How do you like it here in Kuwait? Um, it's been good. It's been good. I haven't, uh, I haven't really had a chance to explore a lot. We've been working the whole time. So, um, why did you choose this profession? Why hair styling? Um, I've always loved it. It's one of those things uh, I think I wanted to do it since I was a kid, but I'd gone to business school first and had a whole other career, but then realized I wanted to go with something I really loved and passionate about. How many clients do you see typically like in a day, a week, on average? Um, I do about 20 to 30 people a day, and so about 125 a week. So we just we see a lot of people. What kind of establishment are you interested in working in? Um, I like places that are really fashionable, modern, you know, women that like are really in tune with what's current. Do you have an artistic background? Um, I did as a kid, but uh, now really hair is, is my art. Who is your favorite celebrity you have styled for hair? Um, I'm probably the Kardashians are probably my favorite girls. Who is the one celebrity you'd love to style your hair? Um, God, there's so many. Probably like Giselle is one of my hair icons, so she'd be a really fun one. Okay, do you think ombre or sombre for summer, uh, spring, summer, present? Uh, definitely sombre. Like the softer, more blended effects are definitely more in style. What are the healthy hair secrets? Um, you want to keep it moisturized. You know, I think accenting your natural hair, not going too extreme from what you naturally have. Those are always going to keep it in its best condition. How do you treat oily hair? Um, you want to probably use like a volumizing product. They, they tend to like remove a lot of the oils and will give your hair like a little bit less of the oil at the scalp. What techniques do you use for dry hair? Um, for dry hair, really focusing on moisture, I think doing oil treatments, um, hydrating products like uh, the Biolage um, Hydrosource Mask is a really good one. It just adds that extra moisture to the hair. How would you get rid of the coloring after the coloring, like red, um, orange? Um, again, I think if you stay closer to your natural color, you kind of avoid those uh, brassy tones. I think anytime you go extremely, you know, far away from what you naturally have, that's when you run into the brassiness. What do you think of the Kuwaiti women hairstyles? Um, the girls are, are awesome. They're like really on trend. Really, they really know the styles and what they want. So it's been good. What help produces damage after hair coloring? Um, again, adding moisture is like the key. You, know, you want to moisturize your hair, keep it soft. Uh, what's your favorite hairdo? Um, I like like loose, beachy, natural waves. It's probably my favorite. Yeah, what do you think is the timeless haircut for... It's just timeless. Uh, I think just like classic collarbone length. Um, you know, not a lot of layers. I think that's always, you know, chic and modern and current. Do you prefer short hair or long hair? I like longer hair. Are bangs in? Um, yeah, yeah, they're always... I think bangs are always in style, so it's always a fun, a fun way to play with your hair. Latest event you have styled hair for? I'm a colorist, so I do colors. So, oh, yeah. Latest event you did? Um, so, a uh, netball. I just uh, did a bunch of girls for netball. What piece of advice you would give to the next generation of hair styles or hair color? Um, invest in education. I think that's an important thing. Like, make sure you get a lot of training. It sets your career up for the you know the entire time you do hair. That's it. Thank you so much. Great. For your Thanks, time. guys.